Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to take a look at incorporating the EP3 with the matriarch to add some pulse width control to a patch. Before we begin, let's listen to the patch that I have set up, and you'll notice that all four oscillators are set to a square wave. My filter is wide open. I'm using a little bit of delay to achieve a chorusing effect, and I have the paraphony switch set to four voice mode. As you can hear, it's a nice square wave based pad sound. So now let's take a look at adding the EP3. You'll notice that I have a TRS cable connected from the back of the EP3 to the back of the matriarch going to the expression pedal input. I'm going to patch the expression pedal CV output right next to it to the malt on the right side of the instrument. And from there, I'm going to patch the first copy of that malt to the other malt on the left side of the instrument. Next, I'm going to patch the first copy of that malt to the PWM in on oscillator 1. I'm going to do the same for oscillator 2 and for oscillator 3. For oscillator 4, I'm going to take another copy from the right malt. And now that I have all four hooked up, let's listen to what the EP3 will add. As you can hear, we've added manual pulse control that's not available on the panel. This could also be achieved using an attenuator, but in this case, it's nice to do it with the EP3 for the pedal action and just to have a different experience for control over this modulation. You will notice that at the top of the range, the pulse width is pushed so thin that we achieve silence. So let's look at eliminating this so that we can't make the patch go silent from adjusting the EP3. To do this, we're going to use the attenuator on the right side of the pedal, and I'm going to hold a few notes and adjust the attenuator, turning it down until I hear the pulse come back in. Right there. So now, the EP3 has full control over the pulse width range without making us go silent. And this is going to enable all sorts of nice slow dramatic effects or even some rhythmic effects like this. This can also be achieved with your foot or obviously on the desktop with your hand, but it's just a nice way to add a new degree of control. One other thing that we can do is use the last copy of our malt and patch it into cutoff one and turn our filter down just a little bit. And now we're just going to add a little bit more control over the filter that will correspond with the pulse width. So let's hear how that sounds. As you can see, incorporating the EP3 into your patches offers a new dimension of control when playing the matriarch. 